Before we get started with today's vlog, I just wanted to say today is the 7th of July 2020 and it is 15 years today since the London terrorist attack happened where four bombs went off on the London transport network. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because on the very day I was actually travelling to London for a Blue concert. Fortunately, I was nowhere near London when it actually happened, but I did just want to say I'm thinking of everybody who was affected by the attacks that happened 15 years ago. Our thoughts are with you. Hello everybody and welcome to another instalment of Jude's World. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to say hello to Emily and Jessica Slimson and Andrew Charnick. I would also like to say hello to all the staff at the Selby Tyre Centre. Big hello to you. And happy birthday to Abigail McLaughlin, who was 11 yesterday. Hope you had a brilliant day yesterday, Abby. Right, we're going to make a start with this vlog now. Okay, a very big hello to all my regular viewers. And if you're watching me for the very first time, I live in Selby in the UK and I work for a very well-known British supermarket firm. Okay, today I am going for my haircut. Oh my God. Now, what it is I've got to do is I've just got to check. I've got a few things before I leave the house. So the time is 11.25. I'm leaving the house at about 5 to 12 and my appointment is at quarter past. But I've got to meet my hairdresser actually outside the hairdressers. So I'm going through all of this now before I leave the house. I'm just checking. I've got a few essentials in my bag before I I finish getting ready to go. So I've got a bottle of water because we're not going to be allowed to have any drinks in there. I always have a pack of tissues anyway, actually, but I've just got a pack of tissues just to be on the safe side. I picked this up actually from where I work. Um, it's very nice. It's um, jasmine and Apple Blossom Luxury Hand Gel. Very nice. Actually smells very nice. It actually smells like soap. So that's why I picked that up. And if you saw my vlog from the other day, you will see that I have got some friends masks. So I will have to be wearing this mask when I actually arrive. There we are. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it. There we go. <laughs> so that's what it should look like. So I'm going to put this on before I actually uh, get to the salon. And then this way I'm all prepared with this. And also what I've got is I've got this fantastic bag. And the reason why I'm taking this is because when I'm actually in the salon, I will have to put my cardigan and my jacket in there because there will be no hangers to put your stuff on. But I have got my umbrella with me because I'm actually not quite going straight home when I've had my hair cut, but I'm going to come to that later. So I'm just going to go and get myself sorted. Okay, so here I am. The time is coming up for 10 past 12. I'm just taking the short walk down here. I think I need to readjust myself, I think, when I get inside. But anyway, never mind. So we're nearly at the hairdressers. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wait outside and wait to be taken in. So... Here we are on the approach to the hairdressers. So I better wait here 
until I've got the signal to go in. So I'm just going to wait here. Right, well, there's somebody very important I want you all to say hello to. This is Rebecca, my hairdresser. She has done a wonderful, wonderful job. But, and actually, the salon actually looks absolutely superb, and they've done a fantastic job in here today. So, over and out for now. Bye! Oh, that feels so much better having had my hair cut. It's absolutely superb. Now, I'm starting to make my way uh, back down Brook Street because I am on my way to WH Smith. Because I am going to meet my... Oh, sorry. I am going to meet my work friend, Lisa. And we are going to have a spot of lunch. So, I don't believe you've met Lisa before. So, we're just on our way to go and meet Lisa. Right, everybody, I want you to say hello to Lisa. Oh, <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself then, young lady? It's the first time I've been out in three months. Wow. And the first person I see <laughs> is Jude. <laughs> and exactly what have you got there to drink? Banana milkshake. And we are in Little Miss Muffins. Again. Again. So, what have you got to say for yourself now? Thank you, Jude. Thank you for coming to meet me. <laughs> I appreciate you keeping in touch with me. No problem, love. This lockdown. And here's to more Woo coffees. Woohoo! <laughs> and cake. Oh, woo Thank you. Right, so we're just going to finish up now. Um, and I'm going to head home. Where I will finish this at home. So, toodaloo for now. Okay, so I'm now back at home now. Uh, I've had a really good couple of hours today. So I've been for uh, my haircut and then I went to Little Miss Muffins with uh, Lisa. Um, and I think it's, 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 it's great how all of these places um, make you uh, feel safe. And I think that really is the most important thing. So fingers crossed we are now heading back to uh, slightly more normality. And it's got to be said today is that has actually been the first time I've actually been out and done something socially in Selby in four months. So there you go. So I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog for today and I will catch you all another time. And just to remind you where I went for my haircut, that was Elizabeth Horner on Brook Street. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day and thank you very much for watching Jude's World. Bye, everybody.